right, so earlier today I was working on the dining room and I removed the wood paneling from in there. Now I have a little bit of time to kill, so I'm going to go ahead and start the next video, which I'm going to be working on this wall and this door. Um, this door will probably be a separate video, but the wall is going to be its whole thing. Um, I'm removing the chinkeen, hopefully all of it today or close to it. Then in the next couple of days, I'm going to clean up the wall, do all the maintenance that needs to be done to it, and then get foam board put into it, nailed into place, chink on top of that, and then that wall should be done. Or kind of. Um, there's this section behind me. That is for when my father-in-law gets here. He's going to help with that section. But to be able to do that, all this stuff on the floor right in the way, the doors, all that goodness, it has to go away. I got to pick it all up. So yay, more cleanup. <laughs> it's satisfying though. And then I'm going to pull out all the chinking. So as I always say, let's get started. wasn't expecting to find um, a knife that says Ranger on it. Let's see if I can get it zoomed in to show you guys. See, Ranger. Interesting. I guess it goes in the shadow box too? Oh, there's more of them. There was a door plate. This was the original door connector. Here's the plate molded or uh, sealed over. Goodness. Door lock plate. In between the pieces of wood. So the pieces are attached, they're wiggly, but they're attached to the backside. Um, so I really need that hammer. And Jeremy's using it. And the other one's on the roof. Jeremy's talking to Adam, I stole the hammer. Let's see what I can do real quick. are rigid or ridged um 
like screws, but they're flat on the front, like nails. Whew. Gonna call the girl card on that one. trying to be all neat and organized and orderly with it all but so many pieces are falling so I'll have to clean it all up and I know someone's gonna be like that's a wood chisel it's got a big old chunk missing in it and as dull as can be I have a new set coming because this one it's the only one left with the set the rest are probably on the roof too so okay. in here they broke the, the garbage cabinet door. <sighs> they pulled it and apparently like <coughs> ripped the whole thing off the bottom. So Oh yay. yeah. Yeah, we could deal with that now. Where's the nail? Is it right here? Is it right here. Look down. Right uh, mm-hmm. Let's get rid of this. No, leave those. <laughs> It's a heat shield. It's a piece of metal. Yeah, to protect the wood from the stove that was hitting there. Hmm. Uh huh. This nail's really long. I told you. Did you even try? <laughs> I sure did. This way, so I don't mess up your wood. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Ow! <laughs> Ow! What's wrong? I got arthritis. I need a tool. <laughs> you are a tool. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. You ready? No! No, stop! God bless. How about you put the wood underneath so you have more leverage? Oh! Look at you with your big old brain. Oh, oh, oh shiza. Wait, 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 let me move. Okay. <coughs> it's grippy thingy in here. <laughs> Flip flops. If grippy thingy isn't strong, death and cover. <sighs> that is a nail, folks. God. Five inch nail, folks. Jesus. Okay. I look like a crazy hot mess, apparently. Um, mm -hmm. uh, apparently, I'm calling it a day. Um, the kids broke part of the RV off. That should be a video too. <sighs> so apparently the trash bin no longer has a door. The door is not on the cabinet. So I'm gonna go take care of that and I'll finish removing the chinking tomorrow, I guess. Yay! Day two, um, had a lot of things going on this morning. You'll see in a different video of the storage container getting delivered. We're in the middle of getting the second one delivered. <coughs> the puppy is going crazy. She's on the porch with Jeremy, all blocked in. And mommy left, so it's the end of the world. Ow! On the arm. <laughs> and down the shirt. breaking up rocks. Wood chisel, not working. 
So I just got back from the store. My son came in here with me and we were testing this little bad boy out. It's making a fast dent in things. And I did decide I'm gonna go ahead and push everything through because I don't want to be banging on the other side and end up loosening any of the chinking that I'm going to end up putting on here. So this whole wall, I'm just going to go ahead and chop everything out of that cement. Goes pretty easy from this direction. I'm in here. It's like 9.50 in the morning. Labor Day, by the way, guys. But I thought I would show you my um, work in progress. You can really tell in the daylight the impact I've made. <laughs> All right, so there's quite a bit to clean up this morning. And I realize these doors are driving me nuts. They're in my way. I am going to... This thing, if you don't know, is a saddle rack that someone made. I'm going to remove it and slide everything over in front of the window. All the cement on the ground will go out that door into the pile that is already out there waiting for a dumpster. And I realized I can't do this wall or that wall yet because I'm not ready to move the cabinets. And on the outside of this wall here, it's covered in wood board. And I'm not ready to remove that on the outside either. So initially, I am just going to stick to this wall right here and see how it goes. And when I'm ready to do something with these cabinets, because I don't want any uppers anymore, um, and I don't know if that's actually going to be once we move in or not, um, just depending on the timeline, this wall and that wall may end up just being, uh, left till we're living in here. And, you know, I'll do a little bits at a time. It will definitely still be livable. A lot of the cement that is on these walls is not, uh, in bad shape. So definitely still livable, even though, I really want to go on. And I've been staring at this section for a while. It is pretty darn solid. I don't like the fact that there is cement touching the wood, but it is gripping for sure. So I think this element 
of brick. And if you notice, they are handmade bricks. I think they get to stay for a bit. And you'll see down here has some old termite damage. Um, no current infestation. Seems very, very old. I have spent like the last hour getting the rest knocked out of like the cement pieces, everything pushed through. The bottom row is done now. Um, I took a wire brush to the termite area and this is what's left. Uh, this part is solid. The rest that is in the pile on the ground is not. I think because the majority of the log is solid running through and, and this part will be covered by the cabinets, I'm just going to chink around it and leave it how it is. I'm going to treat it so nothing else can get to it and destroy it more. And it is what it is. I do have the other logs that are free floating in the wall that I've shown before, which I can point to you real quick. These, this wall will be framed out. So those will be coming out of there and they are basically our replacements for where we need it for the rest of the place. But back here, I'm not going to be using it. That one log is pretty damaged, but luckily it's not more than just, you know, a third of the way through. So now I'm going to remove the insulation that is up there. I don't think I can pop that board off because there's a trap door right here, or kind of like a trap door look. Let me show you that. This thing, which goes straight upstairs, I think, and again, uh, this is based on talking to my godfather and a couple other people. Um, this is probably where a heat vent came through from the stove that had been right here for heating upstairs. This piece is kind of wedged in there. I'm just going to leave it and sand down this corner so it's a little bit more flush. Then I am going to go through where there's like cement still on the wood and all the faces of it really with big sift brush. Uh, this is a nylon bore bristle, so it's not supposed to damage the wood. This is what's recommended to be able to clean up the wood. Then after that, I'm going to see if I can sponge clean the surface, just remove any dust left. I don't know how a sponge will do on this type of surface, so we'll see. And then I can start with the whole chinking process. So that's where I am right now. So while vacuuming, I did discover it is a trap door. It lifts up and you can see up into the upstairs. Going to have to make that a little more sturdy. <laughs> All right. I realized that the sponge was going to be really hard on the wood, like physically hard <laughs> to use uh, and getting caught up on the wood. So I, while filling up the bucket, realized I had the scrubber, which is fairly soft for the outside of the RV. I'm gonna try it. I know I've said it in the comments to people, but I love the smell of Murphy soap. It brings me back to when I had the soap in a canister that looked like shoe polish, and I used to use that with a little sponge to clean my saddle my bridle. It's like I'm getting ready for a horse show all over again. Trying to get the numbering system. Apparently this one was uh, A4. 
off the corners is not easy. That was some heavy duty chalk, maybe like an oil based type of a grease stick type for writing. to uh, spray it down with the borax solution. already um the only insulation they had whatsoever besides the foamy stuff like the squishy stuff um at our home depot like literally the shelves were empty all i could get were two by twos squares of the one inch or i could get three inch eight by four boards so this is what i went with just to have my starting point I, I'm sure I'm going to get better as I go. At first will be rough. Um, but the goal is, they say that your chinking should be only a quarter inch to half an inch thick and no more than that. So the goal is to put the foam board in between and nail it into place to where that depth is there. So yeah, yeah, let's try this. It's gonna take a while. I can already tell. <laughs> and yes, I'm being very careful. I'm not pushing hard. I'm not gonna accidentally stab myself in the stomach because I'm not pushing that hard. I'm just lightly dragging this. One piece done. I'm on a roll. You know what? I'll check back in with you in a little bit. I want to zone out and listen to my book and I can't record while I do that. So see you in a minute and maybe a couple more of these will be done. Okie dokie. I've gotten basically bottom through right here just about here as you can kind of see. Um, or hopefully you can, that's why I'm saying this with the video. Um, but yeah, that's where I think I'm gonna have to end for maybe today. Um, it's now almost 3.30. That, that, that was two hours, I think. I was getting quicker at it, I swear. Oh, and I did a little chunk here because I had a little sliver. But um, I gotta go do mom stuff, PTA meeting. So more fun tomorrow and I'm also going to check out while I'm coming back from the PTA meeting uh, to see if my Home Depot since it's been a couple days maybe if they've got more foam board in because this is what I have left of that one two by two piece obviously I'm gonna need more than this 
I do have another piece like this that um, is missing about that much of it, so half of it. Um, it's not gonna get me very far. So, gotta grab more of this too. And I will see you on day four. All right, all right, on to the next day. I've already been in here working this morning. I went and had an early lunch. May have snuck off to the bakery for a second. Just saying, hometown bakeries, woo. And I had willpower though. I only had a couple bites. But I have most of it in for this section, just not the very bottom. And I am working on the back section right here. And then I'll fill in underneath. The straight pieces go so quickly. The weird knobby have giant chunks in them. They suck. <laughs> but let's finish this up. It's done. Um, that's kind of a time consuming process especially since there's a lot of unevenness going on here. Um, but it's done, time to start chinking. I just hit we record, what baby? Well, you're out with my hammer. Like you need a hammer. I do, I do. I got the hammer tangs. Hammer time. Nee, 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 nee. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, I'm starting my taping so I can have nice clean lines. Jeremy just brought the chinking in. It's right below, you can't see it. But I'm gonna start the taping process and I'm just gonna do one row at first so I can make sure I, I figure it out before I start going crazy and make sure it dries right and all that goodness. This isn't really the time to rush to try to figure out everything. Come to think of it, <laughs> I'm gonna not do this section and I'm gonna drop one below it because the counter will cover most of this. Maybe not like right here, but it'll cover a good majority of this. So if I do mess it up, then it's fixed. Mm -hmm. Well, not really fixed, but no one will know. The side here doesn't need to be perfect. It's gonna have trim on top of it. I'm just using this for practice. And since I'm just doing the one spot, I am not going to worry about uh, getting out the chinking gun that I have and all that jazz, because it's just the one spot. Ew, it's softer than I thought it would be. And I know I am going about this in the slow way with using this little trowel. Well aware. Okie dokie, we're gonna call that good enough. Let's see how the tape removes. All right, learning experience, learning experience for sure. I got a little bit on the wood. I'm glad I did the piece underneath. I'm not happy with how it turned out, 
It's not horrible, I know that. Um, but I now know on this lower lip to make it really, really thin for when you peel the tape. Know that now. So I'm gonna let this dry and see how it does. It's the next morning, it's like, 8.54 in the morning. So the sun is just starting to rise over our, our back little uh, mountain area. And I meant to look something up yesterday. I meant to look up how long the cure time is on the permachink. And of course this morning I went and I put my fingers in it and it was soft and um, down here I had to redo that because I'm a dummy. And then I, at that point, <laughs> looked up <laughs> on the website for the permachink, um, the dry time. It says one to two hours to skim over, or skin over, and then two to eight weeks for full cure, with a quote of, do not go poking your thumb in it. I didn't use my thumb. I, I used three fingers. but I fixed it. And I also figured out the tape and some of my messiness that happened down here that I was not thrilled about. It's the tape. Um, it, it's not wanting to stick. For some reason, the painter's tape, my one inch, is really crappy on sticking, but the two inch I have is really sticky. So I'm gonna switch to the two inch and see if that helps. And I'm going to, so I can practice more down below. I'm going to start there because it'll, again, be below the cabinets and then I will work my way up as I get better. So that's today's goal. If you can't tell, I'm gonna fix the line. I'm just moving it out slightly. And because there's lots of different ways you can do it, there's not, you don't have to come right to the edge every time uh, on the inside. Outside of the house, you always should. But there's variable ways to do this. So I'm moving the line of hair and making it look better. Hopefully. I only have like two hours today. I've been running errands. It's Saturday, so it's like a couple days later since I worked and all that goodness. So I need to finish the bottom chinking for sure. And then I'd like to try to make a good dent on the rest of it. I think I'm starting to figure it out and it's going smoother. So maybe I can get through it all in the next couple hours. Let's see. But I am really excited because all the parts to be able to fix the door are in. Um, my kitchen lighting has come in to be able to replace this light here that you can kind of see there's some light coming. And the other light, if I don't twist the bulbs and wiggle it, it, every time I turn it off, it doesn't come back on. And it's getting really annoying to do that. So I'm just leaving it off and using a spotlight. But the majority of what I needed for the cabin has been ordered. So all the sealant for the outside with the wood cleaner and the bug killer and all that goodness for the outside is here. I've gotten wood and hopefully the right color stain or fairly close for this tile here for the tile to come up and be removed. The only parts that really have to be bought at this point are the roof materials as we go along with that and the air conditioning units. Besides that, we have everything we need for the mass majority of being able to get into the cabin and at least be living here while we continue to rehab it. And our 1-800 pack rat that we had got delivered so we can start removing things from it and inside of it had some of our tools. <sighs> 
So I would, some of the things that I needed, I can be able to move to my port. I got the screen for the port that is cat claw proof screen. So even when they sit there and are jerks and pluck at the screen, cause we have one of those, uh, she just puts the one claw in it and plucks, it won't be, be damaged. So it costs a pretty penny more than regular screen. I think about three to four times more, but it should never have to be replaced and with my house growing up, we had problems where raccoons would literally just stick their little pinky in and just slip down. That should not happen for raccoons and other animals to be able to get onto the porch. And it's supposed to be fairly chew resistant and not taste good to rodents. Um, or at least that's what one of my clients that, you know, I'm a, I work for a mobile vet. She has the screen, it's been holding up well. And she had had chipmunk issues before and chipmunks haven't even bothered the screen. So huh, we'll have a screen port soon and a railing and all that is to come at, once I get this part done. Um, so I think after this, I'll do the railing to get the railing up, but not the screen yet. And then I'll come back and I'll fix this door and then we'll go from there. I did want to show you some of my OCD moment. Let me share. So some people make vision boards. I made a to-do vision board of kind of the order that I want to go. And then on the edge are, whoop, fuzzy. Um, on the edge are all the things that while my father-in-law is here, if he can help with them, great. If not, we'll get to them. But yeah, I got a lot of things to do to be able to get in the cabin. And I, I know I have horrible handwriting. But yeah, I know... Vision boards are a big thing for certain people. Other people think they're crazy. For me, I just, my OCD is so bad that I compulsively think at night. Like I can shut my brain off typically and go to sleep in seconds. But when I have a project that needs to be done, I cannot sleep. I wake up several times thinking about the order that it needs to be done, how to do it, um, any odds and ends, things that need to be bought for it, things that have to be changed anything like that so getting a list of what needs to be done onto my board really helps clear the brain now i just dream about chinking <laughs> it's sad i know but let's get to it I got two more done in the bottom strip. I'm calling it a day. I have an hour till I have to leave and I guess I want to go get cleaned up so I don't look like a complete hot mess to sit outside at a football game and get hot and get messy. Makes sense, right? But I am happy with the way it's coming along. Uh, it's starting to go a little bit quicker for me. So, so if I'm really lucky, I will get this part finished tomorrow afternoon. After I go pick up the handles from the blacksmith that he makes, like he, I think I already mentioned it, but the guy makes handles that look very similar to the ones that are on the bathroom door, you know, one of those two side rooms. Um, and he was making a new batch and he's gonna be at the farmer's market tomorrow in Talking Rock, Georgia. So I'm going to go and pick them up. Okie dokie. So I have gone today and I've picked up my handles. Well, we'll go on like this. Um, for the hidey hole doors so I can get that project finished. This is still setting and I'm going to finish doing the rest of it, hopefully today. My goal is to get it all done today before other mommy stuff gets called in. So let's do this.
Alrighty, it's done. Well, at least this wall with chinking. But, so I did have questions. People asked about like this lump up here and some of the other lines not being straight. Um, yes, I do have OCD. No, it does not bother me because I am following the edge of the wall. Uh, because it is hand chopped, nothing is going to be precise. There's variable parts to all of it. You just go with it. Sometimes you have itty bitty chop marks that are just little dimples. And then sometimes you have some bigger chunks that stick up. It just is what it is. You fill in evenly. You can't make it too thick. So basically I just went with the edge of the wood. I made a center and curved out for most of it. Some of it just has a slight curve, but all of it has a curve of some sort. But now I have to wait for a couple weeks or more for it to completely cure before it can be touched. And then, yeah, so I have more stuff in the kitchen obviously to do. I have this door right behind me. The guts of it did come, I think I mentioned earlier on one of the other days. I have glass so I can replace the glass that's broken. Just lots of, well, to me, this is the more fun stuff. I like the chinking part. It's a little frustrating just smoothing it with my, the OCD that is here. The foam board sucks. Taping's not so bad, but it does take longer than I want it to. So none of this is a quick process. I'm aware of that. Luckily, the other walls in the kitchen are rather sturdy. I can't see out, <laughs> which is a, a start because the other side of the cabin, the living room, there's holes everywhere in the chinking. And most of its chinking is falling off or isn't there. So I have more plans with this wall, but first I have to let it dry and then we will move on. And yeah, I will see you on a different day and hopefully you guys are enjoying this. So bye guys.